Here we are at the 2010 Dirt Nitro Challenge and I'm going to walk you guys through the Serpent S811, some of the basic features if you haven't uh, been keeping up on it. So I'll uh, kind of let you see what it looks like and tell you a little bit about it. Basically I'll start with the body. What we have here is I wanted to keep the body uh, pretty, pretty narrow in the center so I could get a lot of airflow. Uh, over the sides and then up into these these scoops so I could get the fresh air up into the wing. Uh, I also wanted the, it not to look like the cab was overly large or overly tall so I wanted to kind of utilize some of the aerodynamics on the body to make it look uh, more proportionate to its own size. Uh, let's go ahead and take the body off here and you can see underneath here I got uh, a, new, a new weight layout uh, Basically, this side of the car proportionately balances out the opposing side of the car, so the weight balance is almost 100% perfect left to right. Uh, we have 16 millimeter big bore shocks here with uh, uh, pretty much undestructible shock boots. They, they never tear, they never uh, rip. They're actually really good. Uh, we have pins hold the shocks in. And then, as you can see up here, the car kit itself comes with a centered aluminum bracket so you can change the, the toe and the kick up. Uh, if you want. Uh, we also have uh, a new sway bar system which you may not be able to see here but back here you can actually see the sway bar runs on ball bearings so it minimizes any of the play that you could ever have in the transmission cases and then we also have a new uh, ball holding system here that so that way you can properly adjust the height of your uh, your rod in so you can get the sway bar perfectly adjusted left to right. We also incorporated some nice molded mud guards so it's not just you sticking a piece of Lexan on there, you actually have a, a piece that was manufactured for such an idea. Uh, here we have a new system. I know it's kind of kind of unique to a lot of you guys, but it's actually really simple in the way it works. Uh, it pushes the carburetor open and then it pulls the carburetor shut of course and then it has one lever to uh, operate the front to rear brakes and then it has uh, spacers here to keep the brake adjustment very simple so you don't have to constantly adjust different collars you can just take this out readjust the length of this rod and you'll be able to reproduce br the braking bias front to rear over and over and over again inside the tank I can't actually show it to you right now because it has a uh, full of fluid but or fuel but we actually have a floating clunk inside so that way if the car were to go upside down the clunk could get in and out of the fuel so that way if you do get stuck upside down for an extended amount of time it does help out especially on a big track like this and when it's really muddy like this and the marshals have a really difficult time getting to your car it helps out in that sense so instance so you can stay running and keep going and then we have an angled bell crank system here uh, and this is this advantage is basically to minimize the bump steer uh, it helps out a lot in the suspension you know when you when you go when you go through the entire range of motion of the suspension it uh, keeps the wheels nice and plush so that way you're, you don't have you're not constantly fighting the bump steer in your setup and then uh, with this system this is actually a system that you might have seen before but it's done in a little bit different way we've adjusted the roll center we've added some uh, inclination into the steering block the scrub radius on the wheel is actually zero so it helps uh, keep the, the stroke of the shock to the a-arm more more direct and more at a, at a constant ratio so you're not fighting any kind of scrub, long scrub offset. It's actually really helpful to us and uh, basically that's some, some basic features of this particular car and uh, so far here at the 2010 Nitro Challenge things are going pretty good. I uh, managed to get a 15th place. This is the second major race I've put this car into. We've got actually very little uh, development time in it but so far the car does perform really well and the, uh, the lap times are competitive to the top pros with the cars they've been running for over the last couple of years. So we're pretty happy with the results and hopefully we'll make it into the A final today and uh, make the best showing possible.